Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and another day, day 7 of the home workout challenge. Today we are doing a stretch video, so we're going to be increasing our flexibility, working on our mobility, which is a really important part of fitness and reducing injury. Don't forget to check out your e-guides that you will have received for free when you signed up for this plan, and they will give you a list of activities that you can do on today, the rest day. If you haven't received one of those, make sure that you sign up by clicking the link in the description box of this video. Now for these videos, um, I like to keep it pretty chill I'm just gonna talk to you guys instead of a voiceover don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up make sure that you subscribe for more videos and leave me a comment letting me know how you're finding this challenge well done for sticking with me and making it to day seven all right without further ado let's get into the workout ish kind of the stretch okay so I'm using a mat today my old ragged mat uh, feel free to grab a towel or a mat if you have one or like a throw or something just carpet is fine and um, we're going to start off standing with our feet round about shoulder width apart and we're just gonna do some shoulder rolls so just rolling the shoulders up and back taking some deep breaths kind of feeling how your body feels, if that makes sense. And forward. Try to get a full range of motion, really pushing the shoulders all the way down at the bottom and all the way up at the top. I'm going to look to the side. And to the other side. Stretching the neck, looking over the shoulder. Shoulders down, neck nice and long, and over the other side. Going to bring our chin to our chest, feeling the stretch in the back of the neck. towards the ceiling, feeling that stretch. I repeat that chin to chest. And back up. All right, then we're just gonna come up onto our tiptoes. Roll it back down and we're going to repeat that five times. Try and really like roll your feet almost as though you're moving through every section of your foot as you come up, squeezing the calves and rolling back down, kind of stretching or moving rather the feet. Squeeze it all the way up and back down. over the side so bring one arm over you see stretch over the side try not to fall forward or back but just staying in the midline reaching towards your toes with the arm touching the leg exhale and come up and over the other side to hold on to a wall if you want or you could just do it freestanding um, but grab your ankle in your hand 
And what we're going to do to set up first is actually get our core right, because the temptation with this exercise, or with this stretch rather, is to overarch your back in an attempt to stretch. But that's not going to stretch the quads, which is the aim of this stretch. So you're just going to hold your ankle and then squeeze the core, keeping that pelvic tilt, and then pull the ankle back till you get that stretch in the front of the quad. So notice my lower back is not overly arched. I'm only pulling that foot towards my bottom and getting that stretch in the quad. And switch to the other leg. So making sure the core's nice and tight, pelvic tilt is in line, holding the ankle and then pulling that leg back, keeping the rest of the body still. And relax. All right, so what we're gonna do is just bring the legs apart and stretch forward, leaning towards the floor, feeling the stretch through the hamstrings and the lower back. Try and get your palms flat on the floor. If you can't, that's okay. Just holding it there for a moment. And then we're going to lean towards the right side and push that knee open. So I'm pushing that knee open with my elbow, chest up, feeling the stretch in the inner thighs. Come back to centre. move the legs a little further apart if you'd like but we're pushing the hips back so my hips are actually going back so I'm getting a nice stretch in the hamstrings and the glutes and the calves and then coming down onto the other side pushing the hips open with this elbow nice and tall feeling the stretch in the inner thighs And back to centre. Alright, now we're going to come down onto our knees so that your knees are apart. And I want you to keep your feet on the floor but reach your arms forward. So again, we're getting a nice hip stretch there. So I'm going to show you from the side, or from an angle, so that you can see what I'm doing. So my knees are apart, my feet are on the floor, so I'm not coming all the way forward here. My feet are on the floor, and I'm just reaching the arms forward. And just hold it there, feeling the stretch in the inner thigh. Nice and come up. And what we're going to try and do is move the knees a little further apart, so just widening the stretch a bit more. And then walking the arms forward, the hands forward again, feeling that stretch in the shoulders and the hips. And 
going to come up onto our hands and knees. And we're going to stretch out the back. So I want you to arch your back. You can move around a bit as well, however you feel. Listen to your body. My ankles are feeling a little some in, so I'm just moving those around. And reverse, bringing the head up, feeling that stretch. And again. And we're just going to hold that, pushing the heels towards the floor, getting that nice calf stretch. And come through and forward, hips towards the mat, shoulders down, stretching the head back. Look to the side, stretch the neck a bit more. And then we're going to push the hips back towards the heels. Knees together this time. And just rest in this pose. My knees aren't totally together by the way, they're just not, you know, quite apart like before. Alright, and we're going to repeat that, so into downward dog position, downward facing dog, pushing the heels towards the mat. And then coming through and forward. Hips on the mat, chin to the ceiling, deep breath, inhale, exhale. Moving the head and neck as you feel, and sit back. <coughs> We're going to come back up onto our hands and knees and we're just going to sway the hips side to side. And you're going to bring one knee forward in front of you, keeping the shoulders still facing the mat, facing ahead, stretch out the other leg. And feel the stretch in the thigh. So shoulders still facing the mat, but that knee is just across the body. The other leg is extending back and we're just feeling the stretch through the glutes and the outer side of the thigh. Chest lifted. And we're going to swap to the other side. So knee up, turn it out, point the opposite leg, feeling the stretch in the glutes. And then we're going to come up into a lunge position. So one foot in front, the other leg behind. 
And again, I want us to be really conscious of our pelvic tilt. So the temptation is, when doing this stretch, to overarch your back to try and get a wider range of movement. That's not going to get the quad stretch that we're looking for here. So make sure that your core is engaged. And we're going to push that leg back a bit and just lean the hips forward. Okay, so moving the hips forward, feeling that stretch in the quad that's on the floor. Pushing the hips forward, resisting the temptation to overarch the back in order to exaggerate the movement. I'm just going to lean into that stretch. You can move the front foot forward if you just want to intensify it a little bit. Deep breaths. I love stretching, it's like my favorite. And then we're gonna push the hips back, straightening the leg in front, and round the chest over that leg, bringing the head towards the knee. It's okay if you're not touching the knee, but just bringing the head towards the knee Feeling that stretch, toe, toe pointed, so toe pointed, feeling that stretch in the calf and the hamstrings, holding that there. And then we're gonna flex the foot in front and hold it there. And you'll just feel the stretch intensify when you do that. Flex the foot towards the head, but still pushing towards the knee. Hands in front. You can move around with it again, however you feel. You can shift your hips from side to side. And back up into the quad stretch. So core nice and tight, hips pushed forward, feeling that stretch. Should be able to move it a little bit further this time. And then when you feel that, okay, that's, that's as far as I can go, just hold it there for a count of 10. And you should slowly feel it start to ease a little bit. And what we're going to do to intensify that a little bit more is just hold on to the foot with the opposite arm. You can do both arms if you want, but you've got to keep your balance. And just bring the foot towards the bottom to really intensify the stretch in the, in the quads. Now what I want you to really notice is that the weight of my back leg is not directly on the knee like this. I'm not, that knee is not pointing down like that. I'm actually resting just above the knee so I'm actually more resting on my quad and not putting the pressure on my kneecap okay so make sure you adjust so that you're not directly on top of that kneecap you want to be just ahead of it just above it rather towards the quads just pulling the foot towards the bottom to intensify that stretch and hold it there for a second you okay? How are you doing? <laughs> and release that down. We're going to bring the hips back again to stretch the hamstrings and the calves. Chest to knee. And then flex the foot to intensify the stretch. All right, well done. Then we're gonna do the other leg. So bring the other leg in front. We're going to set up the core, so squeezing the core, making sure the lower back is not overarched, but 
good posture, push the hips forward and lean into the knee in front, feeling the stretch in the quads or quad singular rather.
deep breath in and exhale. And I want you to bring that outer hand out and just lie it straight out. And then you're going to hold the knee with the opposite hand, other leg straight and pointed. I'm just going to bring that knee across my body so that my right hip comes off the floor and push the knee towards the floor on the opposite side. Getting a really nice stretch in the back, almost like you're bringing the air out of the lungs. And look over the shoulder of the stretched out arm. Just rest here for a moment. Deep breaths. And 
to relax. I want you to just put your feet together. So that let your knees fall out. And we're just going to lie here for a moment and just chill and take a few deep breaths. And just, just be. <laughs> Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Just taking a moment to rest because our bodies need rest. So the camera died at this point again, <laughs> but I did stay in this position for a while, just kind of breathing, just being, I think. Sometimes it's good to pause. So I'm going to leave the music playing. Feel free to stay here as long as you like, just deep breaths and relax. And I will see you guys back here, same time, same place, tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.